ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a more hands-on experience. Oh boy. Courtesy of... Wait for it. It's Hasbro. Oh. Hasbro? I... Don't they usually just do board games? I guess not. No, they do video games. <gasps> the A team made this da, game! Da, da, A team. Da, da, da. Oh I paid a fool who plays this! I paid myself for making this game in the first place. <laughs> what the hell is that? What on earth is that? James, what is that? What on earth are we playing, James? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Clover for the Nintendo 64. <laughs> this is quite an anomaly of a game in that, like... Wait, are you sure? This looks very much like Mario 64. It does, actually, but, like, a lot of people I knew had owned this game, and a lot of people had the exact same feelings I did, which is that... <laughs> very... It exists? I mean, yeah. not for nothing. I mean, I can understand, like... The, like why this game has sort of a cult following because like I mean the character himself it looks kind of iconic even though he is just an, an, a walking breathing glove a hand yeah. yeah actually the thing I love is the fact that this is probably one of the two few mascot three, mascot one. platformers so one of the final ones that I uh, <laughs> 23 is number one devil tame it yeah that's the code to get get to the goma queen we all know <laughs> that but yeah anyway, they, sorry Pretty much the uh, the one thing about this game uh, I find funny is that they really had to make a game based off of the Hamburger Helper. <laughs> I know, yeah, right? Yeah, I used to think of, that. Speaking of which, inside this castle we find an old man, a wizard even. What? Just the glass and everything? Looks like he was straight out of a Disney short. He mixes chili with nitroglycerin only to find oh. it was actually not a very good combination. The accident. And he died. He's a ghost. One of his gloves went into the cauldron, while the other one flew out the window. And they were magically enchanted, so they became alive. Mm-hmm. Meet Glover. Hi, Glover. Oh, boy. But also the crystals, and there goes the crystals. Oh. Well, that happened. So before they can shatter, Glover transforms them into balls. Well, that's somewhat smart, I'll give him that. It just so happened to be warped into random locations all across the land. Ah. Oh. Well, there's the first one. And unfortunately... Oh, no. It's Oogie Boogie's hand. Oh, um, damn it, I was going to like make that joke. Sorry. Also, may I say, his laugh is really intimidating, actually. Like, listen. Yeah, especially mixed in with this hellish landscape Not going to lie, that sounds a lot like Kefka's laugh. Kefka! Just slow down. It does, but yeah, just... Then suddenly you're here, just welcome to hell. Hi. <laughs> um, <clears throat> oh. Hi, my name is Mr. Tip. If you want any hints, just speak to me. You can do the blah, blah, blah. Oh, by the way, you can press and hold B if you ever lose your ball. Yes, I just said that. Good luck. This is a kid's game. Okay, sorry. So, James, what do well, we... Sa well, sa he savored it for all it was worth, because that's the only time I'm talking to Mr. Tip. Hmm. Okay. Sorry. So let's get to the whole nitty-gritty behind the game. Oh. Your goal is to find find the, ball, the the crystals that are transformed into balls and take them to this alcove here. And about... And Apparently basketball. Oh, shut up, cross stitch. But yeah, you actually have a pretty. This is where it gets kind of odd. The control scheme is very unique for this game, but the way that oh. By the way, can All somebody that. put in? Can oh, that, oh, we, put... we replace the crystal. <clears throat> Sorry. By the That's way. Liter ladies and gentlemen. That is literally what happened to the poor wizard. He turned into a fountain. Well, oh. now where are we saying that? Yeah, can somebody just. <laughs> Whoever is editing this, I'm guessing that's James. Uh, yeah. Just put putting Kefka's laugh next to that one glove's laugh because I, it, 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 it's it's here. It's here. Uh, okay, so we'll just do, like do a quick thing of like showing one after the other. Yep. I guess I don't know. If I remember to do so, then I will. I'll try and help you find some resources. It should be anyway. So levels. So yeah, um, Glover is comprised of uh, several worlds, each pertaining to a certain theme. This is the this is the home world to Atlantis. To open this door, you must collect every garib 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 I even I don't know what I just said. But yes, Glover, when he's without a ball, moves just like uh, I guess any other typical 3D platformer. Which again, mm -hmm. to its credit, at least it handled controls. It handled this controls better than Bubsy 3D. <laughs> like like that's saying much. much. But his okay. full range of mo movement can be unlocked once he f happens upon the Toy Story ball. 
Mm-hmm. I'm surprised this whole thing didn't get him sued. Collect Garibs! God, I don't even know what that is. To score points! You can get lots of more points if you... Lots more points. I can't speak today. I am too tired. So, James, how are these just realize, work? And I just realized I lied. I actually talked to that fucker more than one time. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> it's basically as a stage, you use the control stick to move your move even with whether you're on or off the ball. You can press the B button in order to talk to all the times. You can use your magic to change your balls. If you are holding... <laughs> sorry, I had to. Point at the balls! <laughs> I'm sorry, I just realized what I said was a funny. <laughs> I made a funny! Ha 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 Let me just say right now, never be the crystal. What, me or him? No, 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 he's talking about the transfer. You can transfer your ball into many things, like the Toy Story oh. ball again. Or, excuse me, the Pixar ball. You can transform into that, you can transform oh. into a bowling ball, a marble, or a crystal. Never be the crystal, because you can easily break that thing. I, I like gotcha. that, I like that you can, I'm guessing that's immediate game, game over. Yes, that is an immediate life loss. By the yep. way, I do. Oh, oh yeah, and if you actually lose the I ball, like I'd say in a... that, that's a pretty yep. yeah. attention to detail. Uh, unless it's a bowling ball. Yeah, if it's a bowling ball, it's gonna obviously gonna sink. But thankfully, we are the we are the Pixar ball, which is clearly buoyant. But mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to think. I think you, uh, the other one is a golf ball. Uh, I don't no like what you saw what you saw me doing earlier is all you get. You know okay. what? So, um. I'm not sure if this is a completely unfair comparison to make, but just in terms of describing how this game is, in terms of control and design, I'm getting... it seems very nice. not dissimilar to Ape Escape in the sense of, like, its control was unique for the time, but <laughs> I can understand if people would have a hard time getting into it. Honestly, I would, say, I would say Ape Escape even today is a little easier to get into than this. Like, this game, it's like... It does control a bit more standardly, true, but it's just like, I think the biggest problem with here is that, I don't know, especially when, when trying to move, rot move your balls. Um, yeah, what's that? It's very, it's very loose. That's a baseball. And that, and that's a marble. Oh, oh, hey! Oh. Whoop. You jerk. Fish. Get back. Where'd he go? Where'd I, where'd I, oh, where'd my ball go? Oh, there it is. You can hold down the B button in order to track it down as well, so that helps. Oh, that's there. good. But um, but yeah, you will lose a life. You will lose a life either if Glover dies or if you lose your ball by many, many of our means, like like just like tossing it off a off a pit. Um, especially the Pixar ball can take damage. Gotcha. Yep. Oh yeah, it and can be popped. The damage it can over like there. get hurt. I went to the cards. Of course, we have our own health meter. Uh, those are the Garibs, and uh, oh. all it, all I remember seeing was that once we get if we get all fifty in a level or. Yeah, once we get all 15 to level and you do that three di different times, you unlock a special level. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. For what that's worth. Oh, yeah, and whenever you're whenever you're uh, move, moving the ball while on top of it, your controls are reversed. Or your movement control is uh, reversed. Ooh. Yep, because that's how physics work. Do, 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 do. Uh, that's how physics sure. work. Sure. No, that is. That's how they work. If, you, well, if you're walking forward, it's oh, like a treadmill. True. You're that's pushing true. the ball back. That's this true. game introduced that concept to me as a kid, and my gosh, is it still complicated to me? Still, yes, it yeah. Is. Let's figure it all yeah, out. Yeah, this is kind of a this is kind of a very technical game for what I think it's probably a little too too technical for what's trying to be. Oh, and for some some stupid Full reason, damage. has yeah. Wow, yeah, there Full it is. damage. And we missed some garabs. Ah, yeah, well, I'm oh. not I'm not gonna worry too much about the garabs. I'm just gonna take my balls and balls to the what, what the heck? Oh yeah, that's another reason why this game is so infamous. Glitches galore. That being said, that's the only bad, like really bad glitch I've ever encountered in all the years I played this game. Goodness me! Well, uh, joyous steals, day. Steals. You know, but, it uh, just yeah. That kind of reminds me of the one glitch you can get in Sunshine, where if you use the rocket nozzle against the walls of the shopping area, you know where you get the fruits. If you like run up against the wall with it, you can actually glitch past the walls. Huh. Jesus. I mean, I mean, I don't know how to set, put it. Like, this thing does a lot of things cool. Like, it, de I think. Uh, I'll first of all, say definitely there's more variety to the moves you have than in Mario 64. But complicated. Com but it also kind of becomes a little overwhelming to the player. It's not only complicated though. It is also just a matter that the controls are a bit too loose for my liking. Yeah, I think. I think the biggest crime is that the game's ambition is kind of getting the worst of it. Kind of, yeah. Like. You know what? All things considered, I wouldn't mind seeing a re-attempt re at this kind of game. Like, I mean, honestly, 
Imagine a Glover game in this day and age. That'd actually be something else. But yeah, um, actually, the, oh, like, they would have they would have to fine tune the controls to the nth degree. But with today's yeah. physics engines and stuff, like if any game was gonna hello, have a Mr. Really... Shark Bravo. I think I think I think this game. Uh oh. Oh well. You oh, you stunned kill, him. But it stunned him. That's good. Uh, I guess. I guess not. I don't. Th <laughs> anyway, but uh. I think if any game could deserve Sorry, another, another revival, I think this game deserves it more than Bubsy right now. <laughs> oh god, yeah, no. you're right. A anything deserves it more than Bubsy. We don't uh, want Bubsy just... to be good, we want him to be horrible. Well, no, that, being, that being said, would you believe Glover almost got a sequel? Uh, how, Define how almost. Soon, how, how far and how soon after this game? Uh, <clears throat> I'm I remember seeing gameplay footage of it. It looked like it was like it may have been made like not long after the original Glover. Like it has the same graphical style and everything. Though they tried to take a page from Banjo Kazooie and had well Banjo Kazooie speech. Oh, it was weird. It's all characters, okay. Mm -hmm. And not gonna lie, like the whole like the whole the, like the whole idea behind Glover did seem a bit campier than like what we have here. I mean, it's a cute character enough, still. Yeah, I mean, I would, it would have been cool to see it like a, like another game from him, but it's just that, well, the mixed reception, and I assume it... Well, I don't know, actually, I don't even know how well this game even sold, but... I'm going to assume moderately. I'm so too. Am. I mean, it's such an iconic-looking character. I mean, I'm sure some people were desperate. Oh, no, 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 that was the other thing to be careful of is that yes, uh, you need to carry that. You need to carry the ball with you till the end of every level. Oops. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Until you but get just until the fight, until the boss fight, and then, well, back to the, back to hell where you put it back yep. on the um, wizard crystal, uh, wizard fountain. I'm sorry. Just the way he smacked the bowling ball to attack enemies, I, it just immediately makes me think of. Can you believe we get paid to do this? <laughs> I love this country. But anyway, um. Excuse me. Oh my gosh, I'm getting maybe a little more sick. I ha I hope not. I can't believe I only just got better after all that. But anyway. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of going through that uh, myself. Like I feel fine. I just have to get just have a lot of leftover gunk to get out of my system. All right. Can, and, can um, we I'll not right talk? A all right. I I have spent the past year not being sick, oh, and I am thankful for it. Can we please not talk about anybody else being sick? Oh. I think it's no. He's all panicking. Oh, ah! it's a checkpoint. Oh yeah, thank goodness. But uh, what was it? Okay, fine. D changing the subject from that then. Um, I feel like all. Oh, oh, I feel Jesus. like this game has good ideas behind it, and it does a lot of things cool. It, had a, it definitely knew how to make itself original and unique in a time of you know potentially oversaturation of 3D platformers. But it's, yeah, especially in this time period. Oh, that's right. If you also if you actually point onto your uh, point onto your um. Your ball. You can also use your. You, you can actually um trans transform the ball right then and there. Nice. It takes a little longer to do, granted, but that is an option. Okay, let's drain the water. Oh yeah. By the way, be, by the way, the sad thing is like all we're what we were talking about is like with the N sixty four version. This game also got a PS one version and surprisingly worse. Oh, oh yeah, I heard the PS one version hear. is pretty horrible. Yeah, huh. it's very iffy. From what I, I from what I remember, mainly because this looks like a game that needs kind of a constant frame rate, and uh, the PS One yeah. did not have a constant frame rate. Oh, or it at could, least it not was, not the could... big, not the best. Like the like the N sixty four could do sixty frames per second, which I bet this is actually thirty right now. But it's thirty still. Yeah, this this is thirty frames per second. Eve. That is going. To be oh. Fun. But, um... PUSH! I just, again, uh, we've already, you've been hearing us all talk about this whole time. The, the complicated movements and stuff. I feel like today, if we got rid of some of the more dated aspects, like the score and the live count, I feel like a Glover game today could do decently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Assuming people even remember it exists. I mean, remember what happened to poor old Booger Man. Yeah. You say that like it's a Booger bad Man is not quite successful enough to fund a Kickstarter! On. But I do feel like... There we go. There you go. No. Wop, wop, wop. Is it possible, to, no, is it possible to actually... Let's see, is it possible to actually accidentally hurt the ball yourself? Uh, no. Unless it's a crystal. Yeah, right. I imagine With, that's which case, case, if you try to do it, do shit like this, yep. then it will break. Like, immediately. Like, yeah. It has yes. worse fall damage than you. 
It is fuck. It is fragile as all get out. Well, the idea is that you it's turn into a crystal ball. sea. No, he's no, talking, talking about, about when, it's a, when it's a crystal. Yeah. Fuck. Ooh. Uh, it's too high. And I'm just I like, immediately really, regret game? it. Really? Well, the idea is that like he turned, he transformed it from a crystal because it was so fragile. If you turn it back to a crystal, it defeats the whole purpose. Right. Come on. Oh, oh. Shit. Yeah, this is this is fickle's old get out, and I have no fucking. I have no. Don't be lazy. Just and push, push it the, rest the, of the damn way. thing. The giant pole, like the giant wall. Dude, it's about as fucking impossible a feat as pushing bikini <laughs> bottom to the other ends of the earth. And yet they still work there. Then. Oh yeah, that's the other thing is uh the the note 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 audience there you go there note you go. audience that for the dribbling there is a rhythm you have to follow. Yeah. Which makes sense. That's how dribbling works in real life. Yeah. Again, the physics and everything of this game was pretty, like for Hasbro and a the team, team. <laughs> not a team, but a team. Oh, okay. Team somewhere, that they did a decent job. Just sometimes, sometimes a game being unique doesn't mean a game can be good immediately. Yeah. Yeah. And also, just you going still, back. You still to... have. You still have. Go ahead, Steve. Just going back to Matt's joke about the they succeeding then pushing Bikini Bottom, they did succeed, but then immediately afterwards, oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> and that's what's gonna yeah. happen to this review. Goodbye, Glover. Back into the glove box forever. <laughs> back into the glove box of a car that's about to head over a cliff. Go back to making hamburger food. You're better at that. <laughs> that is, yeah. Maybe that's the reason why he took on the video game gig. He, he was sick of having hamburger meat in his face. Maybe. <laughs> but on that note, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for our Wait, look out on Glover he, for the Nintendo... Si he was hmm. sick of hamburger. He is sick of hamburgers in his face, so he changed the balls to the face. Uh-huh. Well... Good night, everybody! Yeah, see you guys. Good night. Night.